Hey Financial Warriors, welcome to the show. And yes, I am starting a brand new YouTube channel. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna be abandoning this channel. I will still be uploading credit card and personal finance videos here, but there is a very big reason why I have been forced by YouTube to start a new channel. So let's get into why. But first, if you want to get six free stocks for opening a brand new Webull account and funding it with any amount of money, you can click the link below. The absolute minimum value for all six stocks is $34. And the maximum value, if you get really good stocks, okay, luck of the draw what you get, but the maximum value is $12,600 out of this deal. Webull, of course, is the very good commission-free stock trading app where you can invest in the stock market, so index funds, individual stocks, even cryptos, and you can even open an IRA. They're doing this promotion to celebrate their fourth anniversary, so it won't be around forever. So if you are interested, in it, do click the link below to learn more and sign up. So a few months ago, I changed the name of this channel from the Credit Shifu to my own name, Ben Hedges, and I uploaded a very clickbaity video entitled Why My YouTube Channel Is Over or something like that. The video explains that the YouTube channel is over in its current form. So it's not really over, but you know, you gotta get those clicks, guys, and likes and views and subscribers. Speaking of clicks, likes, and views, have you subscribed yet? If not, click the button below. Anyway, my idea was to expand my channel beyond credit cards to a much wider array of financial topics. The only problem is, this hasn't gone very well. The videos that I still get the most views on by far are credit card videos. Look, this video on the Amex Platinum's new gas benefit got 20,000 views, whereas this video on inflation got merely 5,900 views. Even my Las Vegas hotel videos that I thought would do really well kind of bombed. Look, 7,400 views, 8,500 views. Even the video where I talk about how I booked the vacation, like me just sitting in a chair talking to the camera, got way more views than the actual videos themselves. 13,000 views. Like, how is me sitting in a chair talking to the camera better than me showing you the inside of five-star luxury hotels, fountain view room at the Bellagio, a strip view suite at the Conrad? Like, come on, guys, seriously. <laughs> Why do you just want to watch me sitting in a chair? But, okay, I don't think it's you guys' fault. I think this really demonstrates a weakness in the YouTube algorithm. You see, videos on this channel right here have always behaved very differently to videos on any other channel that I've worked on on YouTube. For example, uh, the two channels that I started with my friends, Generation Films and Generation Tech, where we talk about science fiction trivia. Now, two metrics that really matter on YouTube are click-through rate and audience retention. So to explain click-through rate, it's basically for every 100 people who YouTube shows your title and thumbnail to, the number of people that click. So if that was five people out of 100, that would be a 5% click-through rate. So take this massive video I did on all 14 enterprises in Star Trek. Actually, there are 15, I missed one, my bad. But anyway, it has an overall click-through rate of 2.5% and a click-through rate on the first day of 5.7%. The click-through rate on the first day and even the first hour and stuff is gonna be much higher. Uh, just because that's your loyal subscribers and fans who are expecting your content clicking. And as YouTube serves it out to more people, that click-through rate will tend to be lower. Now, this video has over 1 million views, but if I uploaded a video with such low click-through rates to the Credit Shifu channel, it would absolutely bomb. Take a look at this video, my most recent edition of how to climb the credit card ladder. The click-through rate was 5.9% on the first day and 3.4% over time higher than my Star Trek video. So why isn't it getting more views? It only has 134,000 views versus 1 million. Well, from my point of view, there are two reasons behind this. One is the broadness of the topic. There are much more people online who are interested in science fiction and would be willing to watch a video about Star Trek starships than there are people who are interested in credit cards and credit building, etc. So this means that there are more people that YouTube can serve up those videos to in their recommendations, and this is called the impressions. So a 2.4% click-through rate on 25.5 million impressions will result in a higher number of views than a 3.4% click-through rate on only 2.4 million impressions, even though it is a lower percentage. Then there is the second reason, which I first need to explain to you 
another factor that determines how YouTube promotes your content and that is audience retention and more specifically average view duration. Average view duration is the average percentage of the video that viewers watch. So the Star Trek video we talked about was 59.1%. So that means if the video is 10 minutes long, the average viewer watches just under six minutes of it. Whereas the credit card ladder video was only 44%. So that would mean if the video was 10 minutes long, the average viewer would watch around four and a half minutes of the video. Why would this be? Well, the credit card ladder video was longer. It was 19 minutes versus 12 minutes for the Star Trek video. So you would expect it to have a little bit of a lower audience retention just because the average person isn't willing to sit for as long. However, 15% lower, probably not. But this is a trend on my channel. My videos on the Ben Hedges or Credit Shifu channel vary between 45% and 55%. They're very average. Whereas the videos on my science fiction channels that I have done tend to be up in the 60% range and occasionally even over 70% like this one. And over 70% is really the golden zone in audience retention, according to Mr. Beast. And all those videos I just showed you, by the way, guys, had hundreds of thousands of views. So we know these things work. Having high audience retention combined with a high click-through rate does cause YouTube to push your videos out to more viewers. But why would there be this difference between my two channels? Well, that has puzzled me too, but I have come up with what I think it is. My credit card channel is really just an informational channel. People watch it because they want to find out things, how to improve their credit score, uh, what credit cards have the best bonuses right now. Whereas my science fiction channels, okay, that I used to work on, I actually don't work on these channels anymore, uh, Generation Tech and Generation Films, they are entertainment-based channels. People watch them because they want to find out interesting facts and trivia about their favorite sci-fi franchises, and they want to hear you crack jokes. With informational content, a lot of viewers will watch the video to get the information they need and then leave. However, with entertainment content, there is no specific fact that the audience is waiting for and then once they hear that fact, they will leave or they leave after you've cracked one good joke. They won't do that because you might tell another good joke. So they're much more likely to watch the entire video and thus those videos get higher average view duration and are thus much more likely to be promoted by the YouTube algorithm. And like we said, there's a broader range of people that are interested in science fiction or other topics and thus the videos can go further. And to me this explains why I have found it hard to achieve the same kind of viral growth on this channel than I have on other channels that I've worked on. It's entertainment versus information. And if you do want to do information well and expect a lot of views, you really need to make sure that the videos are packed with a lot of interesting info. And I have done this with some videos like my uh, top 10 Chase credit card hacks, Amex credit card hacks videos, they were packed with useful info and they actually did really well, getting several tens of thousands of views. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do on this channel. I'll upload less, maybe two to three times a week, but make sure the videos are really packed with a lot of information and perhaps have several topics in each video. But to be honest, although I am a geek for this credit card stuff, it's really just because I enjoy going on the vacations that you can book with points. What I actually like to do in my career is to entertain people and make artistically and creatively challenging video. But when I've tried to do that on this channel, those videos kind of fall flat because the current audience is really just expecting credit card information. So they get low click-through rates and thus they get low views. Now, I'm not saying this to trash you guys in the audience because at the end of the day, you subscribed for the content that you wanted to see, which I think for most people here is information about credit cards and new deals and stuff like that, okay? I can't change you, I can't force you to watch different things, but I think this does expose a weakness in the YouTube algorithm. It is very hard to pivot a channel to a new kind of content when the current audience is really interested in one thing. So here's what I'm gonna do about it. Meet my new channel, Dirty Money. You have to say it in that accent. So we're gonna be uploading mini documentaries about the sinister side of finance. You have to say that in that accent too. We currently have two videos up on the channel now. How casinos trick your brain into spending more money. Speaking of slot machines, you know how they look, how they feel and how they sound but have you ever noticed how they smell? Well, studies have proven that blowing pleasant aromas through the ventilation system in a slot machine area has increased slot machine revenue by 45% and how Anna Delvey tricked the world into thinking she was a millionaire heiress. 
It was February 2017. A glamorous young woman checks into the Howard Hotel in Soho, New York. She exudes a European chic, tips the staff with $100 bills, and says she will be staying for a month. Because she is supposedly a client of the hotel's owner, the staff don't even ask for a credit card number. So guys, I'm very excited about this new channel, Dirty Money. It's gonna be a lot more creative, there's gonna be a lot more storytelling, and if you are interested in this type of content, do subscribe to Dirty Money. I'll put the link below and at the end of this video. But please, 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 only subscribe if you're actually gonna watch the video. So think long and hard about it, all right? Because I don't want people subscribing and giving me a low click-through rate, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna actively encourage you, if you have second thoughts about it and think you might not watch it, don't subscribe, all right? Just don't, please don't subscribe. But if you are interested, obviously, uh, I really welcome you to the new channel and I hope you enjoy the videos that I put up there. On Dirty Money, we will be uploading two videos a week. Right now, the schedule is gonna be on Mondays and Thursdays, so once you are subscribed, do look out for a video coming out on Monday and then another one on Thursday and the same thing uh, week after week. Link will be on screen and in the description just in a moment. And once again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and supported me over the years. You can get your six free stocks from Weeble down below. And here's to many more years on YouTube.